Hi all. So let's uh, start the topic of predictive analytics. So let's, uh, before I will start anything, let's discuss some points. Let's say what is the agenda of our session. First of all, we will discuss some points like uh, what is predictive analytics? Then uh, description of our tool. Then we will discuss some examples of our data. Like which type of a data we can pick for our predictive analytics. So here, as I have mentioned, this is the agenda of our session. What is predictive analytics? So guys, uh, as of now, what we are doing in our industry, we have a lot of data and we have a different type of data. And like day to day, we are collecting our data from a different, different sources, like in our phone as well, in our Gmail account as well, in our Dropbox as well. We have a different kind of data. And what we have to do with the help of that data, like, First of all, we have to do some analysis. Analysis, that means we have to check like which one is my fruitful data and which one is my irrelevant data. After doing that analysis part, what we want at the end, we need a predictions. Why we need a predictions? Because with the help of those predictions, we can make some fruitful decisions that is completely uh, better for my business, for my decision making part. And these predictions will help me to take a better actions for my business. Because at the end in our business, what we want to generate? We want to generate a good amount. Like as of now, we need a business. And if I need a business, I need a better data. I need a better actions for my data. So that's why I have mentioned, like, first of all, we have to do an analysis after converting your data in an analysis part, we have to convert into our predictions part. So uh, like we can go back and we can discuss this term again, like what is predictive analytics? Predictive analytics, it's all about your decisions, your assumptions that you can take for your business, or I will say your actions, with the help of your actions, you can make some better decisions so that you can grow your business, you can generate high revenue, you can generate high profit. So in the background, you can see there isn't one image. It's a kind of an what is predictive analytics. So you can check consumer behavior, patterns, visualizations, decision making, statistical model, machine learning, scoring, predictive behavior, and the communication. These are the stages. Like if I want to do a predictions of uh, like any of the data I can pick, and according to my company, according to my organization, I have to do a predictions. And if I want to do a predictions, there are some steps, like there are some stages. We have to check the consumer behavior. We have to check the patterns. We have to check the visualization, like as I have mentioned, graphical presentation of my data. I have to check the decision making, like which decision is good for me and which decision is bad for me. Then we have to check the statistical model, statistical, Again, that graphical presentation, like in a uh, stock market as well, like uh, we can check right now which stock is on on top and which stock is on like that graph is completely down. So accordingly, we can decide our amount. Accordingly, we can decide like in which stock we can amount we can spend the amount. So this is all about your statistical model. Then we have a machine learning. It is a kind of a concept. Concept that means. If I want to do a predictive analytics, as I have mentioned, there are multiple stages. And if I'm working on those stages, so there are multiple, you can say that languages, technology that we have to check and we have to work on them. In the same way, machine learning is also a kind of a platform. With the help of this platform, with the help of this language, in short, we can do a predictions. Then we have a scoring, then we have a predictive behavior, and then we have a communication. In and all, I can give you a very short example. If I want to do a predictions, you can pick an example of your loan department. Like in loan department, what I have to do, I have to collect my customer's data. And if I'm collecting my customer's data, so 
the main agenda is my parameters the main agenda is my fields fields that means there is a customer name customer email id customer phone number customer salary customer job like it is a private it is a government and might be he or she is a businessman and then i need a location and which type of a loan he want and uh, other document verification so what is this there is a one important ingredient that is my data and in that data i have a multiple fields these are my parameters or you can say that these are my variables with the help of these variables with the help of these parameters i can do my predictions as we have decided like what is our main condition like either uh, we can give the loan to my customer or not like either it's a yes or no this is my condition so for this what i will do first of all i will go back like i will go back to my previous stage stage 1 that means i will understand the business i will understand the condition like which type of a requirement they have which type of a conditions they want and as we have discussed they want a loan so i will check all the fields i will check all the data related to these parameters then i will decide like shall i uh, give them loan or i mean to say i will approve the file or not or i will disapprove the file so this is completely depend on my data this is completely depend on my variables so this is how your predictions works in and all we need a one important ingredient and the name of your ingredient is your data you can pick a loan data you can pick a education data you can pick a hospitality data cloud data financial cloud data anything you can pick or any data you can pick the important part is how you are understanding the data as of now i just have mentioned a very simple and sorted example that is your loan department of course in a banking what they are trying to do they are just uh, like they want like they can approve the file of a different different customers but as of now for that they need a customers data and as we have discussed according to that we will check some visualizations we will check our decision making power we will calculate some statistical model at the end we will decide okay let's uh, pass this file or let's reject this file so this is how your predictive analytics work now in the second point as you can see i have mentioned this description of our tool tool that means like uh, as we have discussed predictive analytics so might be you have a question like okay now which like for that which platform we can pick for our practical implementation so as of now guys we have a lot of things but some of them they know the coding and some of them they like they don't like the coding so for that we have our one tool that is your ibm spss modeler it's in statistical packages social science so here you can see yes it is also available on the cloud as well because right now everything is available on the cloud like we need an internet and with the help of that internet i can access any kind of of like any kind of data in a same way if you want to log in your spss account yes definitely you can and you can upload any kind of a data and you can start working on that data but right now uh, you can see i just have opened this uh, spss modeler from my local system and this is the main user interface of your spss modeler so as of now uh, let's discuss some points related to this like how the user interface looks like and which type of a functionality we have in this spss modeler so if you want to check the version or something so here we have an option of this about in that you can check the version we are using it's an 18.2 and it is an ibm spss modeler and basically it is based on java and we have a lot of languages that we can use in our spss modeler so as of now this is the main uh, user interface user interface that means here you can see uh, we have some points uh, specifically we call it as a palettes and if i will click on this palette i have a uh, multiple nodes if i will click on this i have a different nodes if i will click on this i have a different nodes so uh, what is the meaning of this as of now 
if i will click on this sources sources that means this is the main gate main gate that means which type of a data you want to import in your spss model and you want to start your prediction so this is my question or this is your question you have in your mind like okay which type of a data we can import so that we can start our predictions so as of now we have the sources so like you can see we have a multiple nodes so if i will uh, click on this excel like excel is quite uh, familiar like everybody knows about the excel so if i will click on this excel so they are asking me okay let's import the excel data with the help of the sources so with the help of the sources we can import the data any kind of a data you can import any kind that means the nodes which are available in our uh, modeler those data you can pick for your predictions parts for your modeling part in the second point you can see we have a record operation palette and the field operation palette guys we have already discussed a one example that is your loan department and we have discussed at the end what we want we need a yes or a no value for our customers like which file we have to approve and which file we have to disapprove so for that we have to clean your data i mean to say we have to clean our data we have to pre process our data so for cleaning part for pre processing part for data wrangling part we have a record operation palette and we have a field operation palette basically if you want to apply any of the operations on your data we have a two palettes record operation palette and the field operations palettes if i will click on this field operation palettes you can see we have a multiple nodes and every node have their own functionality so let's say um, right now as i have clicked on this so you can just connect the dots like with the help of this i just have imported the data with the help of this node might be i am cleaning the data might be i am just sorting the data there is some function of this node as well but right now you can just uh, assume a scenario or you you can just assume a flow and uh, after that we have this graph palette modeling palette output palette and export palette 1 2 3 and 4 all the palettes uh, like they will help you for your terminal part i mean to say they will help you to check the output of your branch output of your branch that means if i will click on this graph might be i want to see my data in this distribution graph so that means this is my terminal node and if i will click on this output palette might be at the end i want to see my data in the table node so i clicked on this see it is connected with the type node not with the distribution node if you want to check the uh, like recap you can just go back in the video and you can check that part again and let's say again this time my table node is selected i want to uh, add a one more graph so this time i have selected this histogram so again this histogram is selected with my field operation or a record operation palette why because with the help of this we just have imported the data with the help of this we just have clean our data or you can say that selected our data or remove the values from our data whatever the task but with the help of this record operation and field operation you can prepare your data in short and at the end you can see i have connected a table histogram distribution what is the meaning of this after completing these two operations at the end i want to check my output so if you want to check your output you have a graph modeling output and export palette and yes for these palettes or you can say that in these palettes uh, the nodes like they will not connect with each other you can see i have clicked on this type node with the help of this type node you can see the table with the help of this type node you can see the histogram with the help of this type node you can see the distribution so in an all output node uh it is automatically connected with your record operation or with your field operation you can't connect output to output in a same way you can't connect sources to sources let's say as of now my source node is selected and if i will click on this excel again so of course like source will not connect with source because it is a main uh, you can say that main gate of my spss modeler with the help of this we can do a main entry like we can import the data in our modeler 
So this is how your SPSS works. Like we can create some branches. We can create a stream, import the data, clean the data, prepare the data, and then you can see the output of your data. You can see if I will click on this Python, I have a multiple options of Pythons as well. You can see like different, different options. And we also have some Spark options, IBM SPSS statistics option. So this is completely depend on the like requirement, which type of a notes you want to pick for your practical implementation. On the right hand side, you can see there is an option of the streams outputs models like we are working on the stream one. That's why they have mentioned this. And at the bottom, you can see these are some stages related to your uh, predictive analytics or the predictive modeling that we will discuss uh, later on in our other sessions. And here we have some toolboxes like, yes, all the toolboxes, all the points, they have their own functionality. But as of now, you just have to understand this. Like this is the main part of your SPSS model. So this is how you can import the data, prepare the data, and you can see the output of your data. So in the last point or in the last question, as I have mentioned, examples of your data. So here, as we have discussed, we have a multiple nodes and we can import XML data. We can import uh, uh, where we have that JSON data. And if you want, you can import CSV data. You can import statistics file data. So we have a multiple options. And with the help of these multiple options, you can import the data and you can do a predictions in your data. So this is all about your predictive analytics. Thank you.